Lighting defines the mood, the realism, the style in Character Creator 5. Start with the free light presets. Then, tune it your way. This guide shows you how to make every light and every scene truly shine. Reillusion's Lightrooms are crafted to reflect the same visual aesthetics seen in Character Creator 5's promotional scenes, giving you a professional, cinematic look right from the start. Simply drag and drop eye atmosphere onto your character to instantly apply light presets. Each Lightroom offers a ready-made style that you can tweak and customize, so instead of building lighting from scratch, you're free to focus on creativity and storytelling. Let's begin by breaking down the lighting setup. This preset uses five lights, one key light, one fill light, one bottom or bounce light, and two backlights, also known as rim lights. All lights except the rim lights are placed under light preset dummies. This setup helps you easily control and reposition the lights around your character. Rim lights, however, are not placed under the dummies. Their job is to accent the character's silhouette. Toggle each light on and off to see which part of the character it illuminates. Back one is a directional light. Rotate it slightly to observe it. All other lights are spotlights. Lighting presets are built for average proportions. You may need to adjust them depending on your character's height. Here we apply another character, Gibro, who is much shorter. By default, none of the lights reach him. Move the entire lighting set downward to align with Gibro's height. Turn off the dummy to preview the result. Finally, turn the light gizmos back on to visualize the setup. And now, Gibro is perfectly lit. Now let's fine tune your lights, adjust, rotate, or duplicate as needed. Toggle each light on and off to see which one you want to edit. Increase the intensity of the rim light. Then the key light. And finally, the fill light. Next, rotate the entire lighting set around the avatar. This includes the key, fill, and bottom lights. Rotating only dummy one affects just the key light, while the fill and bottom lights stay in place. With a wider camera angle and light gizmos turned on, you can see the lights pivot smoothly around the avatar as you rotate the dummy. Hold, control and drag the transform gizmo to duplicate a light dummy. This also duplicates its parented light, extending coverage without changing the original lighting setup. Here we duplicate the key light to create a fill light softening shadows and achieving a more natural, even illumination. Most CC5i atmosphere presets are portrait lights. Here's how to adapt them for full body lighting. Hold, control and drag the move gizmo to duplicate dummy one the key light. This new light covers the body and adds a floor shadow. Rotate slightly downward. Move the light backward, then adjust cone angle and intensity so the character gets balanced body lighting. Rename the new dummy and light to keep your scene organized. From free resources, open the props pack and apply a shadow catcher. The shadow won't appear yet. More light adjustment is needed. Turn off key gizmo. Increase shadow darkness and light range. 
the floor shadow now appears. Shadow darkness controls its visibility. Switch camera view to check from another angle. Enable PCSS, percentage closer soft shadows, to soften shadows farther from the object. Use it carefully, it may cause artifacts. Duplicate the full body light to add a fill light. Rename the duplicate dummy and light for clarity. Disable PCSS. On fill light, no floor shadow needed. Get the shadow darkness to zero. Reduce light range. Fine tune to keep the fill light soft and subtle. Toggle on and off to compare. Rotate the camera to view the final result, a balanced, full body lighting setup with natural shadows. Slightly adjust light positions to create clear catch lights. Key lights the source of the eye reflection. Spotlights have three types, none, rectangle, and tube. Make sure it's set to rectangle. Adjust the width and height of the rectangular light shape to refine how it reflects in the eyes. Add an image to the light texture to customize the reflection in the eyes. You can fine tune the width, height, intensity, and color of the light shape. Keep in mind, darker images will emit dimmer light. Applying a colored image makes the emitted light take on that color. Changing the light color can shift mood and emotion from warm and gentle to cool and dramatic, creating a more cinematic look for your character. You can further add mood and atmosphere using free LUT resources. Under Visual, open the Effect tab, use the check icon to toggle effects on or off. Color filter is one of the most common post effects. You can add or subtract RGB tones to fine-tune overall color balance. Extra post effects are available. In the Scenes and Effects pack, drag and drop them onto the scene to apply. Use Blend Strength to control how strongly the effect appears. These post effects can quickly add depth and a cinematic look to your render. Another useful effect is static noise. It gives a vintage feel or helps break up gradient banding. Adjust the strength and size of the noise as needed. Finally, toggle all applied effects on and off to review the visual difference in your render. Depth of field adds realism and directs focus to the face. Select camera, open modify, scroll to depth of field settings, activate DOF, pick target to set focus, show DOF regions. Red is focus, green is blur. Unlock near and far. Lower far transition 
then perfect focus range. Adjust distance, range, and transition until edges fade smoothly from green to red. Hide DOF region. Tweak far blur strength to fine-tune background softness. Depending on your lighting setup, you may need to make further shader adjustments. Make sure to fine-tune the shader on your character so everything looks natural. Roughness, specular, and subsurface scattering are the three attributes most affected by lighting and play, a key role in achieving realistic results. The free lighting presets in Character Creator 5 are just the beginning. Refine them, experiment, and bring cinematic life to every character you create.